Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be talking about the one character that most players will never run into in Red Dead Redemption 2. Because in order to see this character in the final cutscene in which you would interact with them, you have to complete not only a series of missions, but you need to make sure your honor alignment is high as well. So there's like a lot of variables for you to get this very rare outcome. So anyways, let's dive into it today and let's get it started. In order to meet this character for the first time, you actually need to complete a series of missions. The first one is in chapter four, and it's a mission called Help a Brother Out, where you essentially help a brother, Brother Dorkins, who has a little bit of a problem with the San Denis fence. You, kind sir, will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some... some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Okay, so long story short, as you heard there, the San Denis fence is like a trading post for slaves. And what Arthur has to do is he has to go inside and he has to find a secret bookshelf. He goes down to the basement of the San Denis fence. He ends up freeing the slaves and he basically saves their lives. And what he does after that is he returns to Brother Dorkins and he has this conversation. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's, well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you, I, uh, here, payment, for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you, I will. Like I said, magnificent, come on, come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. So as you heard there, Brother Dorkins wants you to return at a little bit of a later date at the church he's working at in the city. So if you wait a couple of hours, his mission will peer up and uh, you'll be able to start the next mission called Brothers and Sisters One and All. Por favor, it's Morning. warm. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, uh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey! Stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral! I don't know nothing about no damn what! Bastard. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Morning. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> uh, 
Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, Help. I, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. It's a new challenge, Father. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Okay, so in that mission, we actually met the character I'm talking about, and that is Sister Calderon. Now, she actually is a character from Red Dead Redemption, believe it or not. She appears in the side mission, I Know You which is given to you by the strange man in Red Dead Redemption. So she does make a very small appearance in that game. Uh, she makes a little bit of a bigger appearance in Red Dead Redemption too. However, not everyone will get to see her. So right off the bat, not only do you have to complete that first optional mission from Brother Dorkins, you also have to do the follow-up mission just to see her. However, things get even crazier because in Chapter 6, there is another mission that you can do with Mother Sister Calderon, and again, it's optional as well. It's a mission called Of Men and Angels, where you will find Sister Calderon outside of the church, and she is looking for donations. Mr. Morgan! Hello, Sister. Hey, Calderon. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead. And the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. Okay, so if you've completed all three of those side missions before the main quest line, The Fine Art of Conversation, there's a chance that you could run into Sister Calderon for the final time. Now, here's why this encounter is so rare and why most people don't run into her. As I just mentioned, you have to complete those three missions. Help a brother out, brothers and sisters one and all, and of men and angels. If you happen to miss one of them, you won't see her. And during the fine art of conversation, 
you have to have high honor. So even if you've completed those three missions, but for whatever reason have low honor, you won't see Sister Calderon in this final sort of confession that Arthur has with her. Take a listen to this conversation right here. Mr. Morgan, are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh, Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. I weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but... I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Wow, so that is one of the deepest conversations that you can have uh, in the final game. Now, obviously, that is Arthur's sort of confession as he's dying, and a lot of information was revealed there about his son, about the things that he's done, where Mother Superior Calderon is going. She's going off to Mexico. So it's a crazy conversation. Now, if you're wondering what happens if you don't have all of those requirements met then you will get uh, Orville Swanson at the train station instead. He will actually be leaving and uh, sort of running away per se. So that is why most players simply won't run into Mother Superior Calderon because there's so many variables that have to take place in order for you to see her in this final mission. Like I mentioned earlier, there's so many things that can prevent her from showing up. You might have low honor even though you completed all of the missions. You might have high honor, but forgot to complete the last mission of men and angels. So again, a lot of different variables here that ultimately determine who you get at the train station in this mission, the fine art of conversation. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on your playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, if you've gotten to this spot so far. Who did you get as far as your confession goes? Was it the high honor version of Orville Swanson, the low honor version of Orville Swanson, or did you run into Mother Superior Calderon? 
Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.